We're going now to game four, powered by Intel, with the casting of the legendary duo of Sims and Pansy. Thank you so much, and yes, you are right. This is brought to you by Intel, where gaming happens. We are live into this one, Rich. We have a lot to talk about, a lot to see, but my mind cannot help but get excited by the prospect of Virtus Pro. They had a stand-in coming into this, right? Like, this is not their main roster traditionally, and yet they are still delivering numbers after numbers. They are putting up kills. They are getting wins. They are pushing this lobby hard. Gen G are on their tail, sure. Oath, not too far behind, sure. FaZe becoming a little absent today, but the story for me is this could be their big international win we've been waiting to put beside them in those accolades. And just by this game alone, by this entire five game, should I say, this weekend, they could quite easily almost double what the next person down in total prize money earned has come thus far. Like, we've got 4AM, we've got infantry, 50, 40 grand respectively. Like, this next two matches are so vital to them. If they do capitalize on the buffer that Steve spoke about, the 20 points, they're going to bag 100k. That is a phenomenal feat for, for a team that's kind of had its struggles, little ups and downs towards the start of it. You know, new territories, new levels of play. But now is really finding its feet. I know we <laughs> kind of uh, critiqued playing edge, but now you're living life on the edge because Zenith's already here, ready to receive rock and roll. They've lost two. Back to back. Make that three as another one's gone down. Coming out from Besto. Open the windows. That's good. One, two, thank you. But instantly just punch back in the face. And this time it's from a different team. Venotica from Daytray comes in understands what's going on over here you make a lot of noise you're going to garner a lot of attention flash also following up onto shim boy okay so two of them at least been stolen away from here but Navi, i just feel so sorry for them they look like a broken and lost team they truly do and, and also in a way for zenith because they are receiving attention from just about every lobby so so i was feeling maybe he could do oh kemba oh boy uh this this could be uh... all over two guys first there we go and kickstart now. Did you? Be aware, T1 and TSG. Blue has fallen. That's a big, big frag to lose early on. We said VP are the ones that we need to see fall early in order to open this thing up. Spyro answers back. I get I'm casting from a kill feed, but it's so critically important to how this game and this competition plays out. Is that a pull up or is it just a run over? I do not know. I'm run hoping over. we get some sort of an eye line run onto over. it. A freak of freaks, TSG. That's a different fight altogether on the opposing bridge this time round. TSG got done over here by FaZe last time, and now they fare a little bit better. VP, I can see, are just stabilizing. T1's gone past them. And now, Ents, what do you do with this now? You've got yourself in a bit of a tricky situation. You've hit a belter, but you've got to keep moving. LG Divine get themselves on the go. That's going to put them towards either Liquid or Shoot to Kill, depending on how they approach this. They trade over here too, spotting our multi-circle gaming. <clears throat> Might be actually helping out a little bit towards VP not getting too much attention. No pressure. Liquid in trouble though, they need to try and hold down these compounds. These LG Divine too, and they're trying to drive by. It's Clip doing it better. Jan goes down. Turtle goes down. Clip comes online. That's the man you want to be seeing for Liquid. Liquid fans finally can have something to sing about in chat. But Hiruzen just got knocked. Let's take into account that Clib's just been fed an AWM. Like, there is a man who can bolt action and frag out, it's Clib. So, Liquid have just been force-fed some points here, and a bit of a lifeline. Circle has been extremely favorable to them as well. It's sketchy, and again, it is just Spyro, so he's just trying to live, but that may not be an option here. The fire comes in for you to kill, who's going to play in it pretty much at this point. There we go, it's done. VP down in 12th. Here we go. Game on. Right. You now need to climb. As said, someone like FaZe or Motorcycle Gaming could do this, but I feel they're too volatile as a team right now. Oath or Gen G, however, that's a different matter altogether. Gen G are poised to start building points. Excellent positioning. Day trade not too far away either. They can do some damage. Oath Look at this. There it is. Looking from up above using that high ground so well and that's a couple more points being put to the pocket and that gap getting a little bit smaller you had to call for it didn't you, you had to call for genji to come online 
The death squad is sent up in tandem. Two players move out. Beams comes in with a bell driven here. Clip follows up though onto Genji with the AW1. We'll pause for a second because we've got a different pull up all together. Ends unfortunately found themselves in the transition of STK. Mutual destruction on both sides. All these teams were kind of looking at the top. STK may be just a bridge too far, but still, they're lurking within Genji. They're lurking within Team Liquid territory. This is easy points. Should you be able to find it? Fifth place goes down. Another position potentially opened up. For STK, where do you go from this one? Yeah, multi-circle gaming have also got to be aware that Oath eventually have to move from the position that they're in. And really, this is the only next point of contact. Let's be, let's be truly honest about this. You're not going to run down into T1. That's a beautiful little shot. Summer, turn on to Luke 12, removes one of them. There's still another player from STK lurking in the distance. You have to be very, very cautious which way you go. Uber on the opposing side. Tiamba. That's at distance because Phaser are actually in the garage compound. If you watch PUBG, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There is a garage just below T1. They're further up in a field. Summer takes a beautiful bullet to the brain. He was certainly... His ears will be ringing after that one. The big boy gun cracks off. And it looks like FaZe, well, they're taking the opportunity to push on the knock. Yeah, FaZe going to move up here, try and maybe find their way on the south. I'm not sure how much they feel they can get up here. Okay, they've got the flush. What do they do with this? Gustav's already off. Um... So again, see where he takes this one. Oath looking for their opportunity, but multi-circle gaming are farming kills, by the way. They've got four already, and they are happy to take fights. They are putting up a very, very diligent effort to this. Make that five kills now. They are on the climb. They've now got themselves into that same bracket as Oath and Gen G. But they have to continue now against those teams, whereas Gen G have you know, been making their appearance, but they haven't been able to garner too many points just yet. Just one kill confirmed. So for them. It's still within touching distance here in pack caps. Everyone else just have to come out from the safety of the buildings that they've been fortifying for quite some time. A good move from Face Clan on the southern side of the circles now give them basically a field to work with. It puts them in line of sight of T1. Maybe within Earth eventually. For now, Fears just need to kind of back build and pick up as many frags as possible. They've been quite quiet thus far in this game, and understandably so. But now we might see them come online, especially with T1 in in full clear vision. Oath will be the next point of contact. But both have got problems of their own. Look at MCG. They're wrapping into this one. We've got a four-way battle going down. Liquid Whatever comes out of this one, basically beholding this side of the circle. It's the whole domino effect, Lauren. Everyone's just falling on towards this side. Liquid are getting in the vehicles. They're coming over this way. They want to clear up as well. They want the points. They want the kills. So far, it's Oath to be claiming them. Evil Lee is the one to be fallen. And now Uber's making his appearance from north and south. Both of the two teams who are on the chase here are being pressured. There is no safety anymore. He's going to knock and flush Evil Lee. Jeems now finds Ling Du. That's multi-circle gaming looking a little rough around the edges at this point. Oath are trying to stay alive. Keep their heads down for a second if they can. And let the big boys fight over what's left of multi-circle gaming. The name comes in. Is it good? Not deep. It doesn't quite find the target, but it does get the flush. The barrel just fine, though, as that does some good work. And there we go. Liquid flexing a little here towards the end of it. And multi-circle gaming from her hero to zero. They were doing work, and now they're down to just one. But that one is a tank. And Bell Frost is looking weak in comparison. Tank now has to play this so perfectly, though. He's got two more targets to find. Maybe just a hero. Molotov. It's good. It's pretty Yo. good. Rello's burning. Snake is now on the back foot trying to play a deeper angle. But Clip might get vision on this. Tank could be the downfall of Oath here just by himself. He's switching through from the old position. Do they know it? Yes, they do. Snakers well and truly aware. Multi-circle gaming go down. Oath to live to fight on. But they've taken casualties just down to two, whereas Gen G stays strong with four. You have to be aware that Fears could still backbuild and still maybe just creep this circle edge around you. Oh, I have no idea what's about to be waiting for them around this corner. That should be a one and done. I'd see will fall. Easy revivable. We've got Uber just there with the smoke, so an easy get up and Sure, well, Mings is in no man's land, but it's actually Lin Shun to be caught off first by Gustav. There's the flush to follow. Yep, done. That's another one in the pocket. We've got big teams left that can play end games very well. Liquid, Gen G, Faze. They have some experienced players now coming out. Liquid on the push here, but Faze is actually not a bad spot to fight. Gustav's gotten close and they have no idea. Look at the damage he's done. The <gasps> nade follow. Liquid overextended. They have been punished. 
Oh, dearie me, Liquid. And now while all this happens, Genji, the green, just growing on their face ear to ear at this point. Liquid thought they had it in the bag, but absolutely not. Mexi's no idea what happened. His team has just been mullered. And now with that bullet, that'll be the audible cue that it's Facepalm may have needed. Right I can't believe Faze have taken such a big jump. I mean, hell, from them downwards, like, it's still been pretty close. Multi-Circle Gaming got themselves up there. Orth came into this pretty high up, so they've done well also. The question is, do they understand where Genji will be making their stance? Look at how spread out they are. Inonix out towards the blue down south. Esther's creeping round as well. Tiamba, nothing much you can do about this with a molly down. That's another team gone. It moves into a three versus four. Smokes are up for Inonix because he needs to make the cross. He's waited too long here. Now the blue will force the principal move from him. The pincer, finally. The nade a little bit too far. Does a fair amount of damage because he's got stamped back. But they want this one, Lauren. They're aggressively getting involved in this one. Do FaZe realize what's about to hit them? They now know they are in all kinds of trouble. Gen G want this fight and they want it bad, but overstepping. Ooh. Two step with a punish on one, but Loki, the spray is excellent. Takes down 80, but couldn't quite convert towards the other. Now Fuzzface isolates Esther. FaZe are finally giving it back. Gen G may be underestimating their opponents here. FaZe, the European giant, for years now. Finally finding the form at the right time. Inonix now in danger, surrounded. They pushed it, they thought they had it, and FaZe take it away from them. I pray my dick get big as the apple time So I can fuck my world for 72 hours Goddamn, I'm in the matrix Damn, I'm in the matrix My mind is living on cloud nine And this nine is never on vacation so